Welcome to Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. You can find us at lcara.net, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. If you're enjoying the videos we're producing here at Elcara, please help our club out by hitting that subscribe button. Also, give us some feedback on our videos. Click the like button, share with anybody who may find it interesting, and be sure and hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified of the next video release. Hey, good morning, folks. This is Chris, KY4CKP, and uh, today we're just bringing out a, a short little video, um, kind of a slideshow of some pictures, um, just to uh, kind of catch folks up on the current state of our emergency communications trailer. We've posted some information on this uh, before. Been working on this pretty hard the last year or so, and even with the uh, the current uh, delays in, in being able to do things in person as much as usual, uh, we've been uh, getting a few things done here recently as well. And so we're just going to start off with uh, a quick look. We were uh, insulating the trailer. It's a uh, um, regular uh, box trailer. And so we were taking the, uh, the plywood skin off on the inside. We began to insulate it with uh, one inch foam on the sides and the top. And uh, just a, a quick uh, shot here. I think we covered some of that activity uh, towards the end of last year probably. So uh, we got that done. Uh, it makes a really big difference in the, uh, the the sound of the trailer. Really helps to keep out uh, outside noises and helps the uh, the inside sound warmer. If you've ever heard uh, musicians and folks talk about that kind of stuff, so it sounds better in the trailer. So that was a that was a big a big deal right there. Not that hard. It takes a little time and labor. And just showing uh, this a little bit here, um, we have all the skins back on. And we're going to um, uh, get into some newer activities uh, here as well. We also, uh, our uh, president of our club, Don AC4DM, has done some electrical work. He's uh, hooked in thermostat to the uh, air conditioning unit. We also have a heater that we can run in the trailer. Uh, we also have um, ports, uh, portals or ports in the floor that we can run uh, lines in and out, whether it's antenna lines to antennas we've set up or for uh, things like shore power, anything like that. And uh, we've also run in some uh, and set up some uh, connectors so that we can connect. We have a couple of benches in there right now as well as the uh, seating benches and uh, uh, RV type table that we can sit around there. We also have some folding tables and a folding uh, or folding chairs and a folding table that we can use. So we've got our Anderson connections on both desks to uh, hook up the uh, battery that's in the trailer itself and or you know connect us through to shore power if we have shore power that we can connect to if we're at a campsite or uh, a location that uh, would provide that or we have our generator and we can always uh, provide energy through the generator and uh, several of us also have portable power solutions uh, as well to uh, try to take care of any situations whether they're shorter term or potentially even longer term uh, in the field, you know, field days and just outings and things like that. Uh, so uh, we also have spent time uh, throughout the last year or so on the outside of the trailer. We, we uh, put the video up uh, a while ago where we washed the trailer real, really well, cleaned it up good. We've also been sealing it up. Uh, you know, these, uh, these trailers are, are built pretty well, but uh, sometimes they need a little bit of help. So we've uh, sealed it up pretty good. And uh, then we also here recently started working on the, the front. Now we had insulated the, the, the roof and the sides, but we had this curved nose uh, up at the front, which was a little more of a challenge. So we've got that insulated and we also um, uh, formed a piece of aluminum to, uh, to go in the, uh, the slightly awkward uh, shape right there, put in some bracing. And so we have the, uh, the aluminum in there now. So that, uh, uh, looks a little bit better and uh, and is insulated so it'll help again the overall sound profile and keeping the the uh, the warmth in when you want it keeping the cool in when you want it and so also here very recently so there's where we were just forming the uh, the aluminum for that nose and we'll see that nose uh, here in just a moment as well um, a little bit more of a close-up but uh, we've finally been able to start getting together and, and doing a few things trying to do it uh, uh, you know carefully and safely uh, but we we got together here recently, as as we'll see in another uh, uh, picture or so, and we started painting. You know, this has been one of the long-term goals for this: the insulation, uh, you know, just just um, uh, 
taking care of any leaks and things. Uh, we put the, they had put the window in originally and doing some of the additional electrical work. And uh, so we finally got to uh, the painting stage, uh, which was fun. Uh, really brightens, of course, as you know, whenever you paint something. And there's that, that front piece on, the, on the, the nose of the trailer. But you can also tell that we, had, we were painting that day. And so, of course, it, it completely brightens it up on the inside of the trailer. Uh, you're not going to have to have very much light in there at all. You know, the plywood is not, you know, it's not dark, but it's dark enough that uh, when you don't have a lot of light, if it's if it's nighttime or have, heavily cloudy that day or anything, the one little window, uh, you know, it just didn't give you very much. And yet we've got those uh, LED lights that uh, hang over the benches. Uh, they can give you tons of light, especially now that it's painted. But once you get going with a couple of radios and a couple of pieces of equipment, uh, it's not going to take much to give you just enough light so you can see your, your dials and your equipment uh, well um, without uh, blowing, out, <laughs> blowing out your vision or anything. So again, we had, uh, we had some paint. Uh, Brian, KY4BDP, went and got some painting supplies, and uh, a few of us showed up for a, a work day. And... Um, we went with a little bit darker color on the roof and a little bit brighter on the uh, on the walls. Uh, so just kind of kind of showing that here. And then a group of us got together. Now our our club, we do uh, have scheduled work days every other week, either for one of our uh, two main repeater sites, and then we'll uh, occasionally have a special work day if we have something we want to uh, to work on. Uh, right now, one of our repeaters is in transition to a new site. So we've actually taken the workday for uh, for that repeater and spent it on the trailer, so that we can get it going here as the as the weather's getting nicer and as things get a little bit more normal. In fact, we have a testing session coming up, and uh, we're going to be using the trailer to help us manage people. Right, we we expect a big crowd, a pretty big crowd at least for us, 15, 20, 25 people. Uh, but we're going to have to manage things and, and do it carefully, and uh, you know follow the uh, safety precautions. So, uh, yeah, we just got together recently, uh, several of the members, uh, and um, uh, which made, uh, makes light work of any job when you have plenty of hands to help out. And so we painted the roof, painted the, uh, the walls, um, cleaned up that aluminum piece. Uh, it's, uh, it's in good shape. It was just a little bit dirty, and it's looking really good inside. We got more <laughs> that we want to work on. Uh, we're going to be um, putting some murals on the outside of the trailer. Uh, we were going to uh, probably have some... Um, some shelving. We're going to put a rack, um, uh, the aluminum vertical rails for racks. Uh, if you're in the IT or telecom industry, um, we're going to put uh, some rack, uh, rack uh, unit in there so that we can handle some equipment uh, very nicely and easily. And uh, so it, it still has some things we want to do to it, but we were getting it out last year and we're going to, of course, continue getting it out this year. I think we're going to get our uh, the uh, pads for the benches that are towards the, the front, which would be kind of behind us in this picture. Uh, I think we're going to get those recovered into a, a new and matching color. And so it's really coming along. And it's just the, the kind of stuff that you do in stages. Uh, you know, a, a, a brand new, just empty trailer uh, can be usable immediately with some, some uh, you know, a couple of folding tables and folding chairs and you know, and it can be usable immediately, and, and we've been using this, and the club had used this uh, over, off and on over the years. Uh, but now we're just trying to spend a little more time on it and um, make it look look a little nicer, make it uh, a little more functional, sound a little bit nicer. Uh, you know, uh, Brian and, and I took it out one time during heavy rain, and with those aluminum trailers, uh, we couldn't hardly do anything because you, you couldn't hear the radios, um, and we didn't have headsets, I think, that trip. So that's one of the things to be prepared for when you go in the field. Uh, you know, definitely check the weather, and uh, you might <laughs> might need some headsets and things to help help stay productive. Uh, but it was a fun trip just to get the trailer out, get experience uh, towing it, and uh, and using it. And then when you do that, when you actually, you know, that's the thing, folks. When you actually use your equipment in these scenarios that we that we um, think about or plan for, uh, once you get into the reality of it, you'll you'll find those areas that you didn't think about or that they simply kind of turn out differently than you expected. And then you just know what kind of adjustments you need to make. And, uh, you know, it just really helps you fine tune what you're going to want to do, what kind of equipment you really want to take or need to take uh, for a given scenario. So that's about it. There's not a whole lot. Uh, i got a couple more pictures coming up here. Um, we just wanted to uh, give folks, I know some folks have been kind of following the work we're doing on this, uh, the trailer. And I know clubs all over the country and even all over the world 
are, are, are and have done similar things. Uh, and there's some really, really nice fancy ones out there. But uh, Arch is coming along. Uh, Brian KY for BDP uh, took the cover for the AC unit and uh, brightened it up. You know, there's a technique to help brighten because it had gotten very yellow. You might be able to see on the, the, the bottom, there's a little kind of rectangular part that's fairly brown. The whole thing looked like that. <laughs> that's a little cover piece. And, uh, and he took it and used a technique that he had seen, um, you know, online and, and YouTube channels and things on how to brighten up older plastic like that and, uh, and get it uh, looking a little bit newer again. So he just cleaned it really well and, and brightened it up. So it looks really good. The AC works really well. So, again, that's pretty much it. Just an update for folks uh, on the comps trailer. And um, we'll be bringing some more videos out, of course. Uh, we're getting really close to 1,000 subscribers, which we really appreciate everybody's support. So that's about it for this one. We'll wrap it up. This is Chris, KY4CKP, for Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association, 73.